In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add the data labels to our pie chart here in chart.js 4. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chart.js 3.com, getting started this specific link, which is in the description box. So once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my page one page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So all these links are by the way in the description box. Uh, let's first load the data labels plugin. So to do this, we need to go here to charges.org and get the data labels plugin library. So once we're on here, scroll down, you're going to see plugins and in the features heading, we're going to search for data labels. Once we're on here, scroll down and copy the getting starting, uh, click there and then copy this specific link here. So we're going to grab this. And then what I'm going to do here now is just put that in there, copy all of this. So we have this item here up and running. Cut that in there, put that in here, save. Refresh. All right, nothing happens yet because we didn't activate it yet. However, this was specifically for pie charts. So I'm going to say here pie. And of course, hide these options here of the skills. Save, refresh. There we are. Now let's activate it. To activate this, I need to go here after the options, say comma plugins. Then I want to activate the chart data labels like that. Save, refresh. There we are. So now we have this, but what we want to do is we want to move the position of this all the way outside of our pie chart here. So to do that, what we have to do here in the options, we're going to put in here again, the plugins item which is basically different from this because this is here to load the plugin. This one here is to access the data labels or any plugin features. So what I'm going to do here, I want to go into the data labels. Then in here, I'm going to use some options to understand those options. Basically, we're going to look at positioning. We're going to look at anchoring. And you can see here the anchoring for radial scale, which is in this case for pie chart or donut chart we have to use one of these options and that will be the anchor of end if I'm not mistaken. So we are moving it as far as possible from the shape. So what we're going to do here, anchor end, save. There we are, that works. Then the next one what we need to do here is most likely the alignment and offset. And I think it's the alignment. I'm going to grab that one and then we can see here what are the options specifically here and probably end. The label is positioned after the anchor point following the same direction. Basically in a, a rotational item like this here, it will be after something like that. As you can see here at the end, pushing it away from the anchor point. And in this case, the anchor point is here. So we're going to push it away even further. Comma, align, let's do it at the end. And this is a string value, save, refresh. And there we are. So what we could do here, sometimes it will hit outside of here. We can give this a padding. So I'm going to say here, layout. Make sure we spell it correctly. And then we're going to say here, padding. And then we could spe be specific, top, bottom, etc., etc., Or just general saying everywhere, 20 pixel, pixels of padding. Comma, save, refresh. And what will happen, it will give us a padding everywhere, including the very top here. And the legend here, of course, moves down. There's another video for that. If you want to know how you can put space between the pie chart or between a chart and the legend. But that's another video that I have as well on YouTube. But this is basically how you can do it. 